Clive Palmer's replica Titanic, called Titanic 2, will have a Turkish bath, because the original RMS Titanic had one. To understand why, we need to look at the history of the Turkish bath. Emma? A Turkish bath or hammam, is a type of steam bath or a place of public bathing. It is a prominent feature in the culture of the Muslim world and was inherited from the concept used by the Romans. Muslim bathhouses are historically found across the Middle East, North Africa, Islamic Spain, and Portugal, Central Asia, the Indian subcontinent, and in Central and Eastern Europe. A variation on the Muslim bathhouse, the Victorian Turkish bath, became popular as a therapy, a method of cleansing, and a place for relaxation during the Victorian era. The concept rapidly spread through the British Empire, the United States of America, and Western Europe. It is no wonder that the 1912 RMS Titanic ocean liner and her sister ships, featured a Turkish bath. They were very fashionable in this era. Clive Palmer's replica Titanic, will recreate the Turkish bath facility on board. The Turkish bath was located on F deck. The deepest passenger deck, deep within the hull, on the starboard side of the ship. It was located next to the swimming bath. Although the outer hull has a row of portholes, giving a little natural light. The original RMS Titanic's Turkish baths were exclusively for the first class passengers. The passengers had to visit the purser's office to get a ticket, if they wished to use the facility. The baths were segregated by sex, women in the morning and men in the afternoon. There was a charge of four shillings, per person for admission. The cool room was the central feature of the Turkish baths, decorated in a mix of Moorish and Arabic styles to evoke a Turkish hammam. Titanic's cooling room did not have an exterior wall but still included fake portholes. There were also small curtained cubicles for changing.